To see somebody that looks like me dressed like this, that works in sports, especially in Nigeria, right? My name is Aisha Shrivo. I'm a creative, I'm a basketball junkie, I'm a multifaceted entrepreneur, and I'm the president of SWA Sports. Growing up, all we did was play outside with straps on our knees and our elbows, playing basketball. Sports has a space in my heart, very free. And this was a huge part of my childhood. Sports is my passion. Passion can mean a lot of things to many people. Operate we describe passion as energy. Something that really fuels you and also affects other people around you. I say passion is fulfilling. It's very exciting. Passion as your work can also be extremely time consuming. But then it's also enlightening because you have the opportunity of telling a very unique story that nobody has heard or told before. In the society that we're in, Passion can sometimes be looked like a bit of a negative thing, right? Like a waste of time. Even now, I get asked many times, this line of work that you're in sports doesn't even pay, do you even make any money from your events? And some people may think that working in your passion may not even be challenging enough when they come across as too easy. But one thing that is true on this list is that it's definitely not for everybody as a career, and that's okay. My agency is committed to building through sports. And what that means is we create awareness in order to educate you on the sports industry in Africa and also in Nigeria and what the gaps are and the kind of impact that we can actually make through sports. We empower local athletes and grassroots leagues. That's me and my team at a local camp here in Abuja, just offering them some sort of support. And we're committed to giving youth an outlet, particularly in northern Nigeria, because our Iowa youth really, really need a change in their lives. We need to break our youth out of toxic patterns, we need to get them busy because many of them are idle, and sports has the power to achieve that. We impact the ecosystem of sports in Nigeria because that is where the gaps are. And the amazing thing about the ecosystem of sports is that it actually encompasses different industries, probably all of the industries that all of you are in this room right now. We create opportunities for stakeholders in the sports business. What does that mean? So the many industries that sports actually influences, I mean, when you really think about it, we need sports merchandisers, we need broadcasters, because it's easy to only think about athletes when you think about sports. We need officials, we need expertise, we need infrastructure. We need lawyers, we need doctors, sports doctors. And this is what my agency is coming to do. Can you tell me what all of these athletes here have in common? They're all Nigerian. But what's interesting is that none of them were developed on Nigerian soil. And this is one of the problems that we're trying to solve. We don't have the environment that breeds and develops local and grassroots athletes. So we continue somehow to have world champions that are Nigeria. And of course, we celebrate them, which is fantastic. But what is it that we're actually doing for these athletes at home? The answer is not much. I want to see more superstars. And I want to see more superstars that are developed on home soil and then exported to be world champions all over the world. And we're not beyond that, that vision. I want to see state of the art, world class facilities, which we currently just don't have. Northern Nigeria is a hub for some of the most talented athletes on the entire continent. But we haven't given them the environment to train, to get access to the right expertise, or to even be able to create the culture of sports in order for them to not only consider careers in sports, but to encourage a healthier lifestyle. 
you just don't have it. This is the dream. This is how we plan to make impact in sports. And we need you to join us. When I was going to university, and this is a very vivid memory, I sat with my mom and I was like, well, you know, I think basketball is pretty, so pretty good at it. Um, and I was thinking seriously, so I want to go and consider a career as a professional basketball player. And um, everyone in this room can guess what my mom said. She said no. She was like, that's not a place for an IEL woman, that's not a place for a Muslim woman. But all that's changing now. And I'm so proud that through my work, I'm able to represent the African woman, the Muslim woman, and the Ariel woman. And the best part is I'm not the only one doing it. My sisters, Aisha and Hadiza, for example, are on their road to being professional polo players from Northern Nigeria. And then Aisha, hard drifter from Northern Nigeria. Who would have thought? And these amazing women, they still need our help because they don't have the right environment that supports them. Funding, no access to funding. Expertise, facilities, they just don't have it. And then even globally, Zayna Nasser, professional German boxer, world champion. Itihad Mohammed, professional fencer. And my friend, Batundi Kamara, who's being a Ghanaian basketball player. And she uses her platform to also empower and motivate women in sport. Incredible women that as I 10 years ago, and even back then, when I wanted to take professional sports seriously, were just nowhere to be seen. But look at them today, leading the way, changing the narrative, breaking barriers, and defying the norms. So why then do you ask, is it important to make impact through your passion? Don't you want to have a sense of purpose? Don't you want to wake up every morning knowing that you're putting your energy into something that you love, something that is making you happy and keeping you content? You're able to create a chain of reaction because you're making impact and other people are watching and they're following in your path and that's all because of you and their legacy. legacy. We all want to leave this world having achieved incredible things. And by choosing to do what you love and change people's lives along the way, you create a big legacy for yourself. So how? How do we do it? Well, first of all, we're in Nigeria. Nigeria has an endless list of problems. I identified one and made it my job in sports. I want to make a difference. I want to fill in the gaps in that industry, and you can do the same in whatever industry it is. So pick a problem to solve. Get inspired. Whoever it is that is around the world that inspires you, be it in Nigeria or abroad, identify that person. If possible, we're in a digital age now. Reach out to them and make them your mentor and emulate them. Research. You can't do anything about information. So research your industry so that you know how to put one foot in front of the other. And I always say, it's very important that you break out of the people and the places that you're accustomed to in order to feel differently. So if you can, change your environment, even if the place that you have to go to isn't very far away. Try to do it because it will help you a lot. I thank you a lot for listening and I hope that I've left you with the motivation to not only pursue your passion, but to also be purposeful and impactful along the way. Thank you very much.